It started off in the evening. We noticed she had gotten progressively sicker. She was vomiting, she was breathing extremely heavy, and um, to be honest with you, we weren't really quite sure what was going on. I was on call uh, and was uh, contacted to come to emergency to see Michaela and on blood work was found to have a very high blood sugar of 60 millimoles per liter and normally blood sugars are less than four. I don't think we were surprised that she had it just because he had it and his dad had it so we thought, you know, if she gets it we're not going to be that surprised. But we were both like, I can't believe she's so young, she, you know, she's like this tiny helpless little baby and now we have to give her needles. Michaela's case is unusual for childhood diabetes because she has a change in a gene that stops her cells from allowing the insulin that she makes to get out of the cells. So she can produce insulin, it's just that the insulin cannot leave the cells to get to the rest of the body. Whereas in most children with diabetes, they just can't produce insulin at all. But we know that we can target that receptor with a medication and so when we gave Michaela the medication, that meant that the glucose could come into the cell, the receptor would fire normally, and then the insulin could get back into her bloodstream again. Genetic testing has definitely affected our family. I mean, not only has it made my daughter's condition easier to treat because it's been treated for what it actually is, but it changed my life completely after 35 years of thinking I was a type 1 diabetic, all of a sudden, I'm not. So here we have three generations of, uh, in, within a family who are now insulin free and that represents like over 60 years of insulin therapy altogether. So it's quite life altering and very satisfying to uh, diagnose. Sixty-five years ago, SickKids established the first clinical genetic service in Canada. During the era of gene discovery, SickKids led the way by identifying the genes for Duchenne's muscular dystrophy and cystic fibrosis. The vision of the Center for Genetic Medicine is to bring SickKids clinicians, patients, and families together with our scientists, where treatment and evaluation is going to be personalized to the individual needs and genetic background of the child. I think the opening of the genetic center is fantastic, and I think it's very important because what has happened with Genetic diabetes is a perfect example of how these discoveries can completely change someone's life.